my name is Anneli Mo, and I'm a I'm a, uh, a TV host, I guess, um, and hallo dame, as we say it uh, in Norwegian. And uh, my my favorite female character is obviously I think Hannah Horvath, uh, and my favorite word is hurpe. I am Eileen Landris, and I am one of the executive producers of the HBO show Girls. Uh, let's see, what's my favorite word at the moment? My favorite word is sleep. Um, <laughs> Although I think my second favorite word might be coffee and then cocktail. <laughs> the other words for the day. I've never experienced anything like it. The thing is, I have absolutely no sense of how he really feels about me because when we are together, he's so there and he's so present. And then he disappears for two weeks and doesn't answer any text messages, and I feel as though I invented him. Why do you think characters like Hannah from Girls have become so popular? She's very relatable. I think that. Um, I think people her age relate to her, and then I think people who are older, like me, um, and like a, a lot of our audience has, has said to me that the, one of the reasons they really like the show is you know they remember you know being in those situations. But the really interesting part is that you know thankfully they made better decisions when they were presented. Like Hannah, a lot of times makes the wrong decision, and um, so they really relate to the relate to what's going on and just feel happy that they're not that young anymore and happy that they made better choices. You are from New York, therefore you are just naturally interesting. Okay? It is not up to you to fill all of the pauses. You are not in danger of mortifying yourself. And I think she's unlike anything that we've seen in, in TV comedy. Uh, she is wonderfully normal in, in some ways and, uh, and she's, she's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> in ways that I don't think uh, female characters have been. Uh, I think the, the male characters have been more nuanced and, uh, and uh, she, she just is something that we haven't seen before. So I hope you're having a great time! Love you! There has been, been you know, male domination in this business and in the movies and in the TV industry and uh, I think that's part of the reason why the, the female characters have been less interesting and that a lot of the stories that have been told have been run by very interesting male characters that have been in extremely complex and then the, the women have been decoration. You know, when at the beginning you don't know if it's going to be relatable or not, but just by sort of the popularity of the show and what really about the amount of press that it's generated. And, and, and when I say press, it's not even um, traditional press. It's, it's really all these people blogging. And I mean, it's kind of amazing to me that people have that much free time to, to do all that. But um, it seems to me that it's it's catching, you know, there, there's something, it's sparking something and, you know, whether you like the show or hate the show, it's uh, sparking conversation across the board. So I'm assuming that, yes, they're relatable to, to what's going on in real life. I don't think you get that kind of attention and you don't get that kind of an audience unless you make something that is relatable and that people identify with. Because yeah. I think a lot of all the other friendship stories, especially with women, have been really sort of sweet and sugar-coated. Mm -hmm. That friends are always good to each other and mm -hmm. that friends are always mm -hmm standing up mm -hmm. for each other, mm -hmm. always saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. Whereas these girls, they, they betray each other, say the wrong things, things yes. sleep with each other's boyfriends and, and, and do all the wrong yeah. things, which Everyone I think is true. Everyone in the world true. is to humiliate you. You're like a big, ugly fucking wound. Adam says you are teetering on the edge of psychotic misery, but you're smiling so wide that no one can tell you are the wound. I am not the wound. You are the wound. You're you, the wound. You're the wound. You are the wound. What do you think a strong female characters easily provoke? I think that's a t tendency that uh, you will create uh, emotions if you are out of the box. You know, you, you do something out, out, outside of the, the norm as a woman. A lot of uh, that raw stuff has been told with boys in, in the characters. Yeah. But when you do it with girls, it hits a lot harder. Yeah. yeah. And also, some of it's been done in independent film, but it hasn't really been done in mainstream television. Yeah. But it's just, it's kind of the whole thing about making things real and not, you know, glamorizing. Okay, I'm a lady, she's a lady, you're a lady, we're the ladies. 